Hi everybody, today we're doing a quick review of the Topdon RDDiAC 800 BT2. We're going to go ahead and start with an unboxing. This is the box that the product comes in from the manufacturer, as you can see. Once you open the box, there is a carrier bag inside that holds the scanner itself as well as uh, all the accessories that come with it. It's a nice, uh, firm, high quality carrier. And as you can see when you open it, you have the uh, a tablet right here. It has a nice uh, tactile look and feel to it. Um, very grippy, easy to uh, maneuver. The uh, on and off button is on the top right corner. It takes a couple seconds to boot up. Once it starts, it's gonna want us to set it up, but we'll uh, go ahead and do that later. Um, right now, we're gonna see what else we got in the box. Under this little pouch here, there is um, your charging block. Also very nicely packaged. You also have 220 volt adapters in case you're going to be using the product abroad in Europe. And then obviously we also have the cable that connects the adapter, uh, connects the block to the product to use it for charging and here's the connection right here and then the box also comes with some warning labels and a uh, user guide as well for you to be able to make the most of your diagnostic tool This is what it looks like uh, on the home screen. If you were wondering where the VCI connector was, that's where it goes. It's very nicely packaged. It's hidden uh, and it's, it makes it a lot easier to carry. Once you're done, you can just plug it right back in. It clicks in right there. Here we take a look at some of the functionality. And uh, yeah, very nice and handy device. When you're ready to get going, you connect your VCI to your OBD2 port. And uh, here's a look at all the reset functions that are available uh, when you have it connected to your vehicle. Here I have it connected to my Corvette and uh, just to test it out, just to see what we have. Um, here you do an auto scan of the VIN, which allows you to grab the information of the vehicle. Um, this particular function, as you can see, is not supported for this particular vehicle. But depending on the application, you might be able to use any number of those reset functions. I wanted to use the device on a few different vehicles to diagnose a few different issues. Here I am uh, looking to diagnose a washer fluid pump that is not operating correctly. So I start by running a auto scan of the car's full system. And this is a 2008 Mercedes. And uh, as you can see, it has a lot of modules that it looks at and, and scans. Here we can read the uh, diagnostic codes once you click on more info it'll allow you to read what the code means uh, you can go into the special functions and do the bi-directional testing for this particular case I wanted to test the pump itself so we go into that function and by clicking F3 you'll be actuating the function of that particular module 
and in this case when I actuated it I did not hear anything which which tells me that the pump itself is faulty or at least the issue is from the uh, lower end of the system here I am diagnosing a inoperative uh, key fob receiver for the, my Toyota RAV4 again doing a quick scan of the system um, to see if we have any codes in our uh, body module we have some codes which turns out that in fact are related to the issue that, that I was experiencing so uh, the special function that I ran here is to register um, the key fob and I was able to register my existing key fobs and it I ended up working. I'm not sure 100% what the issue was, but it worked out in the end, so that was nice. So that's a quick overview for you of the uh, unboxing and the uh, general usability of the Top Don RD Diag 800 BT2. You can follow the link in the description for a complete review of the product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.